Happy New Year everybody, Vierste hier bij Lesbisch Let's talk about satellite communication and in specific satellite messaging and yes, in specific also Samsung. But before we just get there to the news, I want to share just a bit of a history with you because satellite communications, yeah, we kind of use them since the 1960s and if you don't trust me, we can read this here out of global com set form. While telephones continue to evolve and change, the intensifying interest in space encountered investors to seek even more effective and far-reaching methods of communication. So in 1960, America launched Echo 1 into the atmosphere as the first step into satellite communication. By today's standards, Echo 1 seems rather rudimentary. Anyway, it was just a balloon with a mounted huge mirror, but it was supremely effective and relaying information from one point on the globe to another. So yes, this was like 60 years ago. And then guys, the first smartphone that kind of got satellite messaging functionality, because believe it or not, there were satellite phones out there connected to Iridium or other networks. They were like bulky devices like that big and also very much expensive. But the iPhone 14 guys released September 2022 wasn't historic milestone in terms of this because it was the first phone to just be able to send out messages via a satellite. So the iPhone 14 might not have been the greatest iPhone launch out there, but it removed the physical SIM card. Believe it or not, there are still some iPhones today with no SIM card as a physical slot. They just use eSIM. And with the removal of the physical SIM card, the iPhone 14 also introduced Cancel. something big. And this was satellite connectivity. Yes, only for emergency allocation updates, but nevertheless, it was a big milestone and not a lot of other phones had it, actually nobody else. And if we take some steps back, we're going to see that the first Android phone to get satellite SOS messaging was indeed the Google Pixel 9. And that is no wonder because behind the Pixel we have Google and Google are like one of the ever biggest companies there. So earlier this year and the year was 2024, satellite messaging features started appearing on Pixel phones because the Pixel 9 lineup was just released last year, which was like, yeah two days ago, you get the point. We got the iPhone 14 in 2022. Two years later, we got the Pixel 9 showing some signs of satellite messaging. And just last year, a few days ago, we got some signs that some phones from Samsung, like the S24 and the Z Fold, right, will probably get something like this because the users start seeing satellite messaging features. So the S24 Plus, the Ultra, the Z Fold, users that are using T-Mobile's network, which are also using a postpaid line in the USA, they start seeing something in their messaging settings. So when you open the connections and you go down below, satellite networks not included with your account. And of course, you have to kind of like subscribe for this. You aren't subscribed. Satellite messaging is included with your account and then receive messages via satellite when a mobile network isn't available. And you can just imagine how big this can be, specifically when you live in like rural areas or areas where you don't have a lot of people that are like outside of the big cities, this might indeed be a lifesaver. So I know that it might cost a lot of money to get this implemented. And most probably a good idea is to have like five per month for every user out there. Cause I know if you put it free, people are just going to play fancy and use satellite messaging all the time. So maybe bring this free to all the users with a nice quota would be something good because it can really save lives. How it works? When you're out of the mobile network range, your phone will automatically connect to a satellite so you can send and receive text messages. For the best connection, keep a clear view of the sky, which is also something you'll know if you have a Starlink. Now, I do own a Starlink and it's really something great, guys, because you can just take the dish, just throw it away somewhere on the porch and boom, 150 plus megabits per second, just crazy good. And I'm only paying something like 45 euro per month for that unlimited traffic, by the way. After your phone connects to a satellite, you can send and receive text messages. Sending text messages to emergency services is supported in some countries and regions. Your phone will reconnect to a mobile network when, of course, it becomes online. Satellite messaging may take longer and it's available only in some areas. Weather and certain structures may affect your satellite connection. Calling via satellite isn't available. Of course, emergency calls may still connect if a mobile network is available near you, which also makes sense. If your phone is both connected to the satellite, but also gets some cellular network, of course, it's going to route it to the more cheaper service. It may take some time for account changes to show in settings. Contact T-Mobile for details. And according to Samsung Mobile, this is going to work with all the phones that do have LTE or 4G connectivity. However, 
T-Mobile and Starlink currently only support some phones and Samsung's phones are included in the list. Users claim that the new menu appeared on their phones after installing the December 2024 security patch which I installed on my S23 Ultra that I'm also shooting the video with because it's on the One UI 6.1 and on my S24 Ultra I'm already on One UI 7 Beta 2. So definitely big news for all the Samsung users out there and we're definitely late to the party because remember Apple did it 2022. Google did it with a Pixel 2024, so nevertheless, we are late to the party, but we probably still have it. My only request is to try to implement this to as many countries as you can, because again, it can be very important and save lives. Also, maybe go with the idea to have a quota, like all the users to maybe just not even five, maybe just two messages per month, so that apparently you, you can use it. Hopefully, you're never going to need this, but if you are in danger without any cell receptions, then it's going to be a good thing to have it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Happy New Year. Stay safe. VST over and bye.